6 News. Coverage you can count on in high definition. Starts now. Thanks for being here. We begin with a new development in the case of a man who accidentally fired a shot during an Easter Mass. The story that's been making national headlines has now taken a major twist. We've learned the gun owner in this incident is also a Mount Aloysius student, the one who was expelled last week for bringing a gun inside a campus classroom. Six News reporter Lauren Hensley has been following this story and has more. Jen, charges will not be filed in the Mount Aloysius incident, and we have not learned if charges will be filed in this church incident. So we cannot release the man's name, but he did call me, and he says both of these cases were simply an accident, and he's very embarrassed over them both. Now, Saturday evening, just as mass was ending inside the cathedral, the Blessed Sacrament, a gun fired, sending parishioners into shock. Police say it was fired on accident and grazed the man who owned the gun. The man says he has a permit to carry. The man reached out to Six News, said this was an accident, and he also confirmed he was the Mount Aloysius student who was expelled for bringing a gun into a classroom. The man says that in this case, his shirt rode up exposing his concealed weapon and was just an honest mistake. Police say he will not face charges for the Mount Aloysius incident, and as for the church incident, we're working to learn more. Police say the case has been handed over to the district attorney and they have not released returned our calls. We did speak with a legal expert who said it may be difficult to charge the man. We don't really know what the specific facts are here. Uh, if he merely had a gun in his pocket and he didn't have the safety on, that sounds more like negligence. But if he didn't have the safety on and he's playing with the gun in his pocket or fooling around with it, and he accidentally pulls the trigger, well, that sounds more like reckless behavior. Of course, it's probably going to be hard for authorities to ascertain what exactly happened. So a law up in the air tonight, and we did reach out to the sheriff. They pointed us to uh, codes and regulations that state the sheriff can decide if they want to relinquish a permit if they have good cause. Reporting live in Altoona, Lauren Hensley, 6 News. Bishop Mark Barchak issued another statement today concerning the incident. He says, I would like to take this opportunity to state my firm belief that guns have no place in our cathedral or any other parish in our diocese. Our churches must be an environment in which all feel safe to worship the Lord and celebrate our Catholic faith. 